Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. Today we are going to do neck bones. Yes, 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 in the crock pots. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next upload. I have not had neck bones forever, y'all, but I am dying to show you my recipe today. I actually got these neck bones yesterday from my meat market here in town. Don't they look beautiful? Some neck bones, you guys, have like fat on them. I've been blessed. These do not have any fat. If they do have fat, trim them off before you put them in your crock pot, okay? Like this little piece right here is not gonna hurt anything. But if you see like something really fatty on your neck bones, make sure you trim that fat off, okay? So we're gonna rinse them first, get them all clean, and run some cold water on them. So we just want to rinse our meat, get all that sand off of it. Haven't had these neck bones woo, for a long time, y'all. A long time. So I'm happy to share this recipe with you today. You can do this in the oven. You can do this on the stove. I'm just getting my crock pot out because I have a couple of errands to do today. I'm just going to take our meat and place it back into our bowl. And then I'm gonna show you what ingredients we're gonna use next. We are going to use rusted potatoes, about that size, cut them up. I'm soaking them in water so they won't turn brown, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna need also vegetable broth, or you can use stock, Lowry seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. I'm also gonna use this complete seasoning, a little bit of accent, pepper, two packs of brown gravy, and an onion. So I'm gonna go off camera, cut up the onion, and then come right back to you so we can put all this goodness into our crock pot. Give me one second. What I'm gonna do first is add in my onions. Those are going in first. You can use a medium sized onion, it's really up to you guys. If you don't like that many onions, you don't have to use that big huge onion that I had. I'm gonna place in our meat. Oh, I can't wait to eat this, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Some people like to add black eyed peas. You can do that with this. It's really up to you, okay? Let's start with our Italian seasoning, okay? And I'll leave all my measurements below, as usual. I'm just gonna open this up because I like Italian seasoning. Basically, your season is to your taste, okay? You can get some garlic powder in here. Some onion powder. I'm not gonna use that much because I have onions in there. Our Larry seasoning salt. This complete seasoning I'm going to use. It's not salty. A little bit of accent. This is optional. Just boost the flavor. Y'all yeah, know I like to use my accent. Grew up with it. And some black pepper. If you don't have the vegetable broth in your pantry, you can use water. You know how, let me try to show you this. I'm kind of irking my nerves right now. You know how that little silver piece is normally up there? Well, it's already pushed down, so I'm not going to use this. Both containers are open, so I'm definitely taking that back to Wally World. So I'm going to use beef broth. Hold on one second here. So I got some beef broth as a substitute for that vegetable broth because the tab was already removed on it. I kinda don't play that, especially with this COVID going on. I don't care if COVID wasn't going on. It's supposed to be sealed and it wasn't, so I won't be using it. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in our potatoes. Just on top, as such. Oh, this is going to be a delicious meal. Probably make some vegetables on the side, such as corn or green beans. I first need to plug it in, right? 
It ain't gonna do no good if I don't plug it in. <laughs> what good would it be if I don't plug it in, right? <laughs> now I do have the temperature on high. I'm gonna get the lid for it. And we're gonna cook this for about six hours, ladies and gentlemen. Once this is done, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna sample it, okay? So I'll see you back a little bit after six hours. We are back. It has been almost seven hours. So let's take a look at our neck bones. Mm, 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 mm. Does that not look delicious, y'all? Oh, yes, Jesus. Now I have some corn that I have heating up. And I have some cornbread in the oven. Look at that, y'all. Guys, it has been eight hours. <laughs> Let's take a look at our meat. As you see, it is definitely falling off of the bone. This is so tender, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those neck bones. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. <laughs> I told you it's falling from the bone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our finished product. We have our delicious neck bones. Yum, yum, yum have our potatoes there with some corn and I made some cornbread to go along with this dish mm, 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 mm. this is going to be delicious okay so I don't know y'all want a bite so let me get you a bite of this it is so tender I kid you not y'all get a bite let me taste it for you y'all let me zoom in some Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. Look at this, y'all. I want you to see how tender this is. Look how that meat is falling away from that bone. Oh my goodness. Now I'm using the proper etiquette, but once I go offline, y'all, I'll be picking these neck bones up and eating them. <laughs> yes, indeedy. We got some juice down here, our gravy. That's our potato, looks delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is so good. That was the corn. Mm, 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 mm. Cornbread, nice and moist. Y'all, this is so good. Look at that. That's when you know you got some good meat, when it falls apart like that. Now I did let this cook in the crock pot for eight hours. And it looks just like this, falling away from the bone. You couldn't ask for no better meat, y'all. This is a meal I want you all to try as soon as possible. <laughs> Is it great for a Sunday meal? I can tell you that. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family. Share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone of 2,000 subscribers. We can do it, you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this recipe after you've tried it. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next upload. Until then, God bless you. Y'all have a wonderful day and enjoy your meal.